Former Secret Service agent Chuck Marino joins us now. Chuck, I mean, this is stunning that the shooter had yeah. a drone and Secret Service did not. What's <clears throat> protocol here? Why wouldn't they have a drone? Yeah, there was definitely pre-planning involved in this on the part of the shooter. Uh, you could see that play out well in advance if the reported timelines stay intact. But also, Kaylee, what I can tell you is there's going to be a hard look at the Secret Service, not only about resources, but technological capabilities. Look, the Secret Service owns the overall operational security plan, and we saw that significantly fail. Not only are they responsible for creating that plan, but they're also responsible for ensuring that it is effectively implemented. And that includes making requests for state and local law enforcement counterparts, like they do throughout the rest of the country, other visits, and making sure that those officers are assigned to mitigate the threats that were identified during the advance process. As far as HSI providing agents to assist the Secret Service, in addition to state and local law enforcement, that is not uncommon, especially yes. during a campaign season, because the Secret Service has always battled for resources. So, Chuck, I only have a few moments here, but I'm told by a senior law enforcement official that without a doubt, those around the president and his detail were Secret Service, those heroic seven that jumped on top of him. I'm also yes. told the counter sniper, it was a hard shot given the line of visibility. The shot went through the individual's neck, through his eye, excuse me, out of his neck. Heroic work by those Secret Service officers. But to your point, so Homeland Security, it is natural for them to supplement that Secret Service detail around the president. It is, absolutely. And this has happened in campaigns previously. Ultimately, when it comes to Secret Service resources and whether or not they're adequate, the Secretary of Homeland Security has to answer that. Look, we're in the highest threat level we've ever had. We've got a candidate that's not only a former president, but also the presumptive uh, nominee or the official nominee, rather, for the Republican Party. So the threat is up there. It's got to be staffed accordingly. And the Secret Service has to have the resources to do the job effectively. I think there's going to be a lot of that information that comes out on Monday during the testi testimony before House oversight of the director. Yeah, it'd be nice to hear the commander in chief, the president of the United States, call for the Secret Service director to step down, encourage her to step down, force her to step down. All of that would be helpful. Thank you very much, Chuck. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.